What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nerdicane doing Thor number two, and let's dive into it. Let's do uh, credit where credit's due. Jason Aaron, Mike Del Mundo, there's the rest. Um, no, editor-in-chief is not C.V. Sibolsky. It is San Amanat. Um, but, okay, so I did the one. I did issue one, and I found it very boring and very tedious. This one started to be like that, but then when things actually started happening and then the end happened, um, it, I actually enjoyed this. I, I, I'm looking forward to Thor number three. I'm glad I stuck with this. I'm glad I bought this. Uh, well, it was either this or Multiple Man. And then I saw Tamara Bon Villain on the cut on the the name and then you know matthew rosenberg has been like up and down he's schizophrenic as a writer so take note marvel um really i try not to do this but if i see tamra bon Villain on a book i'm not gonna buy it because you know i don't i don't want to boycott a writer or a creative uh but the behavior of that one person has been so bad in the last couple, in the last six months to a year, probably longer than that, because that stuff doesn't happen overnight. But yeah, it's been so bad that I'm just like, no, forget it. It's just like Dan Slott and Mark Wade. I just don't buy their books. I mean, maybe if it was good. But um, okay, so here we go. We got this. It opens up somewhere else. And this is kind of cool because it has this map and it shows you where they kind of are in. Niflhelm, and then I saw this train and the silly billy choo choo, and that kind of ticked me off a little bit. But they go to this part on the train. I didn't really understand this at first, but there's something in that train that they're transporting, and this matters later. Um, this part right here, we get to the the Thors, Thor, the Odin sons. Um, it kind of explains a little more in, in the parts to come what Thor is doing with all these different hammers. It does a better job than it did, than it did in the first issue. Uh, so it's basically, this stuff is basically like, uh, it's supposed to be a running battle where they're trying to get away from these things, but it's all, all the art and all the angles are so close in that it's very claustrophobic and it's very hard to tell what that, this is a running battle and they're trying to get away from those things, whatever the hell they are. Um, but I mean, this is, you know, it's, it's pretty good action. There's a funny part where the goat, like, smashes Loki with its horn while turning the wheel, which... Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, okay, now I noticed. Um, I'm still getting used to this art, this kind of soft art style. I, did, I don't think I liked it at first, but if you look at it as... I think of it as a and d book, because this is very much in the different realms. That's what I'm starting to think. That if you look at it from the perspective of sort of a and d type adventure then this art style fits in a little better. And I'm starting to, it's starting to come around. Oh, I thought the, I thought the goat did that, but the, the hammer coming through did that. Okay, okay, now it makes more sense. Okay, so that's me learning, live and learn. But uh, even more, she died in um, Thor 700, which was the previous Jane Foster Thor. And now basically everybody who's died is in hell, H-E-L, not H-E-L-L. -L. Um, I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's, who has, oh, I guess Satan has hell trademarked. So if you use H-E-L-L, -L, you have to pay Saint, Satan. Um, I don't know. But all these people are getting together and they're, they're, it's sort of like a reunion until you get to this. And there's, there's more parts where they're sitting at a table and it's a reunion. This part, I started to get bored right until about here. This is just like, blah, 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 I'm a big bad monster and I'm going to rule this place. And then she kind of kicks back against that and there's kind of a, a swaying in the power. But th this was kind of cool. This was kind of like the Game of Thrones type, type situation where she's trying to consolidate all these tribes of, of this realm. And some of them will, some of them won't. Like, this guy's no, this guy's like, to hell with you. And then this dude betrays him. And it, it, it all plays out. It's, and it's just, it's like, what, just a page and a half? No, it's just three pages. Three pages. And it tells that story. It tells this, these people are treacherous. There's even a part where um, she says, I knew you wouldn't want to join me. And that's why I respect you. Which is very cool because she realizes she's trying to 
unite and put together all these very powerful entities in this realm. And she even admits, like, okay, yeah, you guys are very powerful. I'm a little more powerful, but if you come under me, if you come under my banner, um, I'll let you, this guy wants to kill. That's, that's all he wants. Or, uh, not him. Um, where is he? This guy. This guy just wants to kill again in hell. They don't let people kill. Because, I mean, if you die in hell, where do you go? Cleveland? Um, then we get to this part where this is kind of like a get-together, sort of like a family reunion, but they start talking about this weapon. And this was the thing in the beginning on that train. And they start kind of putting together a plan to go get this. They have to go get this weapon. This is uh, right here. This is more manly hugs. I didn't like that part. This, I thought that was stupid. Um, men, when men hug, men don't hug very often. But when we do, we don't say manly hugs. Like, yeah, we, we don't do it. We don't, we don't hug other men very often. Like, my boys from the military, if I saw them again, I would hug them. Like, l dog. Next time I see you, you got a big hug coming your way, because I ain't seen you in years, man. But anyway, um, yeah, we don't, say, we don't say manly hug and then hug each other. It's stupid. But that's really the only part of, of dialogue that I did not like. I absolutely did not like. But you know what? Thori is rapidly becoming one of my favorite parts. I thought he was stupid at first, but uh, right here he just asked a dinosaur dragon? I don't know what that thing is. Um, to marry him. But, and I'm starting to, I'm starting to kind of like Thori. Um, yeah, this, actually, you know, now I think about it, this is kind of a turning point. This is like, I'm starting to enjoy the art style. It's getting into the story. I'm starting to enjoy Jason Aaron's writing again. Um, even look at this. This is the ironic part, is like, Loki is warning him. It's like, hey, there might be some double crossing going on now, because I know he's your brother, but he's been here in hell for a while, and, and some stuff might be... A little crazy. Here's the cool. We get back to the train. This is the heist. This is this was cool. Is uh, Thor has a bomb mace. I don't, it's not an axe. I don't know if he calls it an axe. Oh, it's a hammer. Uh, he has a bomb hammer that basically he can throw up there and then detonate. And um, so they have to go into the water to retrieve this weapon from there. And then when he gets in there, he realizes. It's not exactly a weapon. I'm not gonna spoil the rest of this. He realizes it's not exactly a weapon. And he just caused all hell, pun intended, to break loose. Uh, it, it's on the next page. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil what goes on. But if you've stayed this long, um, and you've been a loyal, uh-oh, subscriber of mine, give me a second. This is a little hard to do. There you go. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me get it in focus. There you go. If you stayed this long, there's a free comic. Infinity Wars Prime, Death Wins. Enjoy. I don't, I don't use these things. I go buy comics. Um, but, yeah. Move the needle. Um, I can't believe I'm saying it. About a Jason Aaron book. Uh, I've been really bored with his stuff as of late. But, uh, Thor. Is this, just, this is just called Thor, right? Yeah, this is just called Thor. Thor, number two. Um, he's kind of shift, you can see him starting to shift up in gears, and the ending of this is pretty cool, and the ending of this will make you go, oh, crap. Um, yeah, go buy this. This is a move of the needle. I like it. I'm, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm getting close to nine minutes now, but, uh, starting to watch Luke Cage season two, trying to catch up with that so I can do a, a podcast with a fellow, uh, comic book fan and comic book reviewer, but uh, hopefully catch up with that. But thank you for watching. Thank you uh, for your nine and a half minutes. I think this is where it's going to end. Uh, I'm Nerdicane. You can hit me here. Hit me on Twitter. I'm going to go play some Forza Motorsports, some Forza Horizon 3. Uh, very excited about 4 coming out, but that's a whole other category of videos that I'm not going to bore my comic book audience with. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please hit a subscribe. If you know anybody who, who else... Also, who also watches these reviews and likes these reviews, um, ask them to subscribe. I am 919 subscribers short of a thousand, and that's what I need to get um, a, to get monetized. So I'm just on the cusp of monetization. If you, that's close, anyway. But thanks for watching. Have a good day.